What is going on, gang? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. So is Streamlabs Prime, as a subscription service, worth it? Is it good bang for the buck? The entire point of this channel, of my YouTube channel, is to make sure that you, the gamer, and the average consumer doesn't get ripped off and you get the best bang for your buck and get your money to go the longest for you. I do also have a background in business, so I'm able to cut through a lot of marketing jargon for you guys and find out what is actual valuable features that you can't find for free online and what's just trying to knock a couple shekels out of your coin purse. Let's get this thing. Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and share my screen here. We are going to look at all the things that you get with Streamlabs Prime. So if you don't know, Streamlabs OBS is a iteration or version of OBS or open broadcaster software. It's the one that I personally use to, it's what I'm using right now to screen record. It's what I use to generally make my YouTube videos. It's what I also use to stream to multiple platforms with. I am not on the paid program as of current. And I want to go over why that is, why I don't pay for Prime, and show you guys why it might be a good option for you personally. It's a case-by-case -case basis. I'll explain what it does and what is an actual good value, and you can kind of make an educated decision if it's a good decision for you and your streaming and YouTubing needs. So I will say their landing page is very well laid out here. It's very descriptive, informative about what apps and plugins come with their service. They have some testimonials for some pretty major names, so good marketing there, guys. And they're pretty upfront about their pricing, which is not cheap by any means. So you save $80 annually if you decide to go for a annual package, which is $150 a year. That's not cheap. Uh, but if you're doing it monthly, that is $20 a month, which is even even more expensive. They do accept all the major credit cards, including Amex and PayPal, of course. All right, so when you buy this, you don't automatically become friends with Nick Merckx and Tim the Tap Man. She doesn't automatically start dating you, whoever that is over there. Uh, but what you are gonna get is some pro themes. So what they mean by pro themes, you're basically getting animated overlays, stuff like this, for example, probably some stinger transitions. Uh, my little just chatting screen here. Not only are you getting overlays for your actual stream, but they also give you panels for notifications, and they also do give you an animated page for donations, panels, and little profile snippets for your Twitch to help build your brand. But you can get all of these things on for free on Google by searching for animated overlays. There's a ton of companies out there like Own3D, uh, as well as uh, Gale Level. The overlay that I have here is $5 from Gale Level. I've been using it for almost a year now. Looks phenomenal. Multi-stream, stream to multiple platforms. I strongly recommend you to be multi-streaming. Unless you are a Twitch partner, don't ever do Twitch affiliate or associate ever, 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 ever. Don't let them pay you to take that program. But if you, oops, I smacked my space bar from getting so passionate about this. But, uh, you know, Twitch partner, that's a little bit different, but... Once you do become Twitch partner, you are unable to stream to other platforms. YouTube Live, Facebook Gaming, which have way better growth. And by getting your face out there, yourself as a brand, you're going to grow a lot quicker than just being on the Twitch platform, which is incredibly stagnant and has zero tools to get you discovered. So multi-streaming, that's great and all, but you can do that for free. A couple programs where you can do this is Mob Crush and Restream. However, if you're going to Facebook Gaming, you will need to pay for that plugin for uh, Restream. However, you can do YouTube and um, Twitch multi-stream for free. Also built into Streamlabs, you can multi-stream. I will have a tutorial. You can do up to two platforms for free before you need to buy Prime. So I don't really see this as a viable value. Now, this is where the value comes in here. They do have 46 apps that are exclusive to the platform. And some of these apps are pretty good. They have a music player that is pretty cool. It actually pops up in the bottom right of your screen showing what track is playing. People can request music. It's all copyright free. It's specifically designed for streaming on Twitch or Facebook gaming or whatever. So that is great. And a lot of these plugins are actually really, really good. Like meme board over here, you can trigger animated memes and sound clips. You can set animated goals here. So if you have like a subscription goal or a uh, follower goal for the day or something like that, and a lot of these are really, really good apps, and you can only get these through Streamlabs because they have an exclusive contract with Streamlabs OBS to be part of this program here. Custom tip page. This also pretty is pretty nice. However, if somebody's already going to your tip page, they're not going to go there to donate you money through PayPal and then be like, oh, this guy doesn't have a custom tip page. I guess I'll keep my money to myself. If they're going to donate to you, they're going to donate to you because of the value you're adding to their life by being informative and entertaining or both. So 
this is cool and all, and don't get me wrong, if you are making the big bucks from streaming or YouTubing, then this is an investment in your brand and yourself. Um, and this, you know, again, you can do custom tip pages, but it actually does take a lot of work to get set up as where the, um, the interface that they have is really simple. You just select a tip page and you're up and running merch. All right. This is, this is a big one, boys. Highest profit, lowest prices. So you can actually design the merch through them. They actually create the physical product and then create a landing page for you to sell your merch. Now, for someone that doesn't have a business background or doesn't understand how to build an e-commerce website, like I have built three websites through WordPress for my small businesses, um, I would just build an e-commerce platform where I can take 100% of the profits, minus, of course, sales tax, uh, which I calculate in there. But this right here, this right here is good because it's super simplistic. They make the merch for you. You design it in their little 3D animator where you put your logo on your hats or your coffee cups or your bags or your uh, douches or whatever you're selling. And they will make the products for you. They will store it. They will ship it. They will handle refunds. It kind of puts it on autopilot. It's like FBA or fulfillment by Amazon. They do all of the, like I said, the logistics for it, which is awesome because you don't really have to manage your own e-commerce platform. You don't have to build your own landing page. You don't have to manage things like tips and taxes and stuff like that. It, it just does simplify the process. So that is in itself actually a pretty good value for them to handle that for you on the, uh, the back end. You just design the products and they'll take care of everything else. This is another big one here. It's paid sponsorship for live streamers. Again, you can get sponsors on your own by sending messages, sending emails to reputable companies out there that you would like to get sponsored from. Basically marketing yourself saying, I think that getting your brand in front of my viewership could be beneficial for both of us. It would probably drive some sales for you. And I am a big long-term, uh, a big long-term fan of your products. I'd love to um, get them in front of my, my viewers, whatever. So you can get sponsors on your own. However, they have a platform built in here to where they kind of link up your specific niche, depending on what you're doing. If you're a just chatting person or you're a Fortniter, you're a hardcore esports athlete, whatever you do, they'll try and link you up with sponsors. And that is kind of cool. Panel library. Again, you can get these for free on Google. If you search panels, you can get uh, static or animated panels for free from, like I said, own 3d Gail level has some stuff for free and for very cheap. Um, and you can just Google it and find a whole bunch of these. I will go over a separate tutorial on how to get custom panels, how to set up your Twitch, getting everything in your description. So to help to basically make your Twitch look completely professional when people go there, there's a little donation page. There's a, there's a information page about you. There's maybe some links to the things in your room, like your PC and your backdrop. They also include a mobile app where you can stream anywhere for your phone. So you can do this for free. You can go onto Twitch and you can stream from your phone. You don't need a PC. You can live stream to Facebook gaming, YouTube live or um, Twitch from your mobile phone. So they're not really adding any value here. Gold all-star status. This is basically just enabling you to enter some giveaways. Uh, and you get a limited edition t-shirt saying, you know, it's not free. You're paying for the subscription. So they're giving you a t-shirt saying, Hey, you're part of our brand. Now you have a little bot here that can assist you with some of your Twitch stuff, such as moderation Streamlab app theme. So this is cool because, you know, as a streamer, you're staring at Streamlabs OBS for probably 10 to 12 hours a day. And it's pretty bland and everything. It has all the information that you need, but it's, you know, it's, it's nothing special. And I've been looking at the same theme the stock theme for two and a half years now. Uh, as we're, you know, being able to change up themes of what you see on your dashboard might be kind of nice. But again, is it worth that price? That's something you're going to have to figure out for yourself. Extra file storage. Increase your Streamlab file storage to 10 gigabytes and upload even more assets. So I haven't hit my cap with that yet. And I have animated videos and stuff for like my BRB screen and stuff like that. Let me uh, give you guys a, a taste of that. It is over there on Twitch TV. Boom! Right hook, baby. Big one. YouTube hater, uppercut. Uppercut. 
Tifa, how you doing, girl? You're looking pretty goddamn good. I don't know if you've seen the way the Italian Stallion's knocking them out over there. So I have little videos uploaded like that, like on my BRB screen and whatnot. I haven't hit my 10 gig, gig cap yet. So honestly, I think the biggest value here is all those apps that are exclusive to the platform, like the the music, instead of having to worry about, oh man, what, what program am I, gonna, am I gonna use for copyright free music? Which by the way, I did make a video about a month back going over all the places, the reputable platforms to get free stream and YouTube music in 21. I think what the value is with this platform, with this program, is the fact that they have so many features packed under one roof, under one umbrella. It is relatively expensive and you can get pretty much all these things for free, but you have to set up each one individually. You'd have to build an e-commerce website, which is gonna take you probably a couple days to get everything all set up properly. You know, buying a domain in Bluehost and then building the front end, the graphic user interface on WordPress, and then building yourself a tip page. So, you know, it's a lot like using TubeBuddy for YouTube, which I do use. Um, it's a subscription service, but it's saving you a whole heck of a lot of time, time that you can be reinvesting into editing your YouTube videos, making new content, coming up with new video ideas, or just enjoying your free time and not having to worry about all this, all the technical mumbo jumbo that needs to go on behind the scenes. So it is rather expensive, but it does have a lot of really good features. So it really comes down to your personal preference. Are you somebody that likes to tinker and likes to do in-depth computer projects? you know, building websites and building tip pages and figuring out how to get animated overlays and stuff like that? Or do you just want it all under one application where you can literally just click, oh, my theme has changed. Oh, I now have a donation page all set up with my color theme and stuff. To me, I feel like it's actually a relatively good value if, if you wanna save your time and not have to do all this stuff yourself. So again, it's just something you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, Hey, do I want to spend all my time doing this and save some money? Or do I want to save my time and spend a good chunk of change? And that is a decision that you're going to have to make, but you now at least know everything that you can do with prime and what you can get for free. That's going to do it. If this video was beneficial for you guys, liking it does help it to get seen by more people, kind of ticks off the YouTube algorithm a little bit. Subscribe so you're aware when new videos go online, but don't forget to tallywhack the notification bell, because if you don't give that a Dutch rudder, it won't let you know when my videos come online. But I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a great night.